Dogs are considered to be man's best friend, but sometimes they can get a bad rap. Whether it's from being raised in an abusive home or being homeless, there are some dog breeds that could be more dangerous than others. Here are the 10 most dangerous dogs. Before we start, keep in mind it's how you raise these pups. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking that subscribe button. Siberian Husky Siberian Huskies were used to pull sleds and known for their strength, loyalty, and companionship. They are big, fluffy dogs that need a lot of exercise. Otherwise, you'll be dealing with destroyed furniture as well as possible aggression. While typically not dangerous to people, Huskies are dangerous to smaller animals. So if you're thinking of combining a Husky and a cat, you might want to reconsider that idea. Tibetan Mastiff the Tibetan Mastiff is an ancient dog breed that was used by the tribes of the Himachal Pradesh to protect livestock from wolves, bears, and leopards. This means that these dogs were ready and willing to protect their prize no matter the cost. However, if you train your Tibetan Mastiff and set clear boundaries, plus give them lots of exercise, you can reduce the chance of putting yourself in danger with this pup. Boxer Boxers have short hair, a large frame, and a strong set of jaws. Considering the fact that they came from Germany and were bred to be good hunters, this breed is often associated with danger and violence. However, the Boxer is also one of the most popular dog breeds in the United States. While they are not known to be aggressive, they were responsible for 48 negative incidents between 1982 and 2012. Wolf Hybrid while we know that dogs descended from wolves, there are still breeders who are crossbreeding dogs and wolves. While it seems trendy and going back to the dog's original roots, it could be very dangerous. When you cross wild genetics together, you have less of a chance to be able to accurately predict the animal's behavior. In several states, owning a wolf hybrid is actually illegal. If you want to take the risk, look into your state laws and a good training program. Doberman Pinchers Doberman Pinchers are large dogs with little heads and strong jaws. They are incredibly loyal to their owners, but they are very dangerous to strangers and other dogs they don't know. In fact, Pinchers used to be used as police dogs, but that practice was phased out because of how aggressive they were to strangers. They are considered to be the best dogs for guarding as they will attack when intruders come in or they sense their family is in danger. German Shepherd There's a reason why police departments use German Shepherds as part of their canine units. They are fierce, loyal, intelligent, confident, fearless, and vigilant. They are a good-sized dog and can weigh anywhere from 70 to 100 pounds. German Shepherds are known to be overprotective of their owners and families, and this is where attacks usually happen. Pitbull Admit it, you were just waiting for us to bring up this pooch. Some people say this is the most dangerous dog in the United States, but many people beg to differ, saying it's bad owners creating bad dogs. The term Pitbull actually covers several breeds like the American Bulldog, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, the American Pit Bull Terrier, and so on. Many of these breeds have been used around the world for dog fighting as well as baiting bulls. Rottweiler Rottweilers are strong dogs that have a genetic instinct to protect and herd. Most of the negative stories you hear about Rottweilers have been about dogs who were raised by irresponsible owners in neglectful and abusive households. Rottweilers can be trained and they will be one of your most loyal friends. If you get attacked by a Rottweiler, the safest thing to do is be passive and hope it moves on. Alaskan Malamute the Alaskan Malamute is a relative of the Siberian Husky and can grow to weigh 100 pounds. These are dogs that have to have daily exercise to run up their energy, otherwise they get bored and then you run into aggression issues. These dogs are also slow learners who don't know how big they actually are. They have an endless need for cuddles and playtime. If you're thinking, that's not dangerous at all, try having a 100-pound dog trampling all over you because it wants to play. Caucasian of Charka 
You might not have heard of the Caucasian Avcharka or the Caucasian Shepherd, but these dogs are large and were bred to protect livestock. This dog is not only fiercely loyal, but they can be trained for a multitude of different purposes. They have been known to snap at people they don't know, and they have a powerful urge to defend their territory. If you want to provide a forever home to a Caucasian of Charka, then it's best to get one at a young age so you can train it plus socialize it with other dogs. What do you think makes a dog dangerous, breed or environment? Maybe a bit of both? Tell us in the comments. Also, check out these other videos from the richest, and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.